Here's the reality if you're interviewing for a PM job at Facebook. All your competitors are going to have interesting things to say about Instagram, Messenger, WhatsApp, and maybe even Facebook's classic app. You'll certainly do well if you pitch great ideas for these big products, but to really excel, you'll need to talk about products that no one else is talking about. These are Facebook's underrated products. If you're familiar with Facebook's 10-year roadmap, those are the capital P products in the middle of the map, between the super famous ecosystems and the experimental technologies. Let's talk about four really important products that might fly under the radar. Dating, AR, VR, watch, and shops. People often joke about Facebook dating, but it has a lot of appeal. <laughs> Online dating has been normalized, but downloading a dating app feels like a big step. There are a lot of forms to fill out, but more importantly, looking for romance online becomes part of your identity. A lot of people aren't that serious about online dating, they just want to casually look around. So they might not take that big step of downloading a dating app, but they already have Facebook. So if online dating becomes as easy as switching to another tab of the app, that's a lot more doable for folks who just want to dip their toes into the online dating world. The dating product also leverages a lot of Facebook's strengths messaging, video calls, making profiles, finding people who are just a few hops away from you on the social graph, and so on. Plus, Facebook dating has access to one thing that no other dating app does, and that's your groups. Groups are a great way to meet folks with similar interests or backgrounds, and seeing people post in groups lets you get to know them before you sit down for a one-on-one -on -one call. So by integrating dating into groups, Facebook could open up a whole new world of people to date that no other dating app can really compete with. Next, let's talk about AR VR. Oculus has shown that these technologies have promise in the world of gaming, but Facebook is betting that VR at least will be valuable for its core social media products. The reason is VR avatars, 3D cartoon models of people's faces, quite like Apple's Memoji or Animoji. Facebook loves when people make video, since that's its stickiest form of content. But people don't like taking videos of their faces, some for privacy reasons and some because it's just a lot of work to make your face in the background camera ready. Plus, in much of West, South, and Southeast Asia, there's a taboo against women putting pictures of their faces online. VR avatars solve all these problems. Now, all your facial movements will be turned into animations on your 3D model and you won't have to worry about showing the world your actual face or actual background. VR avatars would massively reduce the difficulty of making videos and thus unleash a flood of new videos onto Facebook products, which would be amazing for the company. Third, let's talk about watch. Like dating, many people don't take it seriously, but it's really carving out a niche for itself here. See, TikTok is a natural home for short videos like those less than three minutes in length. YouTube, meanwhile, is great for longer form videos, say 10 minutes or more. But there is a gap in the middle, that three to 10 minute range that neither TikTok nor YouTube is really well suited for. This is exactly the niche that Facebook Watch is going after. It's trying to become the home for mid length content. However, Watch doesn't yet have a large enough creator population to kick off a flywheel of growth. So Facebook is getting professionals to make these three to 10 minute videos in the hopes that this will draw in viewers and thus make creators excited about the platform. Now, what types of videos are a few minutes long and produced by professionals? Music videos. <laughs> That's why Facebook is investing so much in music videos for watch. Finally, let's talk about Facebook shops, which covers shopping experiences in the core Facebook app, along with Instagram, WhatsApp, and Messenger. Facebook Shops lets online merchants create Shopify-like digital storefronts for their businesses, where they can show their wares, talk with customers, and make sales. A key trend here is online to offline, or O2O shopping, where people find items online but pay for them in physical stores. This is extremely important in developing markets, where many people are unbanked yet have smartphones meaning that they can find products online just fine, but they don't have any way to pay for them online. O2O lets you pay for products you found online with cash, meaning it opens up e-commerce to this whole new population of users. Specifically, Facebook is partnering with Reliance Geo, which offers cheap LTE to people around India, but also crucially has a network of physical stores where people can pay cash to top up their balances. 
So with this partnership, any Reliance store also becomes a place where people can pay cash to buy things on Facebook shop. So basically, the Reliance partnership gives Facebook a toehold to promote O2O e-commerce on Facebook shops. Look for them to try to spread this model far beyond India. So those are Facebook's underrated products. Dating, AR, VR, watch, and shops. Now you know a lot more about these products than most of your competitors will. So you will do well to mention these products often during your Facebook PM interviews. Good luck.